Welcome to the virtual edition of the 2022 Atlantic Wood Design Awards. Although we are unable to host this event in person, we are pleased to recognize and celebrate the individuals and firms that are designing outstanding wooden structures across the Atlantic provinces. At this time, I would like to take a minute to thank our funding partners, the province of New Brunswick, the province of Nova Scotia, the province of Prince Edward Island, the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, the Canadian Wood Council, and the members of the Maritime Lumber Bureau. We hope you enjoy this video showcasing the submissions and winners for each category, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Atlantic Wood Design Awards. Atlantic Woodworks is pleased to host this event to recognize the dedication, expertise, and creativity that is required to build elegant and innovative wood structures. There are nine awards and over 40 nominations, all making use of the attributes of wood that make it so appealing. Wood is beautiful, safe, strong, durable, cost-effective, and sustainable. Welcome to the 2022 Atlantic Wood Design Awards. We would like to recognize and thank the jurors that took the time to select the winning projects. Amy Poffenroth, New Brunswick. Joshua Collins, Prince Edward Island. Kendall Taylor, Nova Scotia. Wade Bowers, Newfoundland and Labrador. The following awards recognize the projects and individuals whose expertise is helping to create a wood culture in Atlantic Canada. Atlantic Non-Residential Building Award. This category includes everything classified as a non-residential building. The winning project will push the limits of wood design, demonstrate excellent and unique use of wood, and showcase some of the qualities of wood such as strength, durability, beauty, versatility, and cost-effectiveness. Here are the nominees for the 2022 Atlantic Non-Residential Building Award. East Hans Aquatic Center, MJM Architects and Teal Architects and Planners. Petty Kodiak Baptist Church Edition, Studio Shershekar. Brookside Intermediate School, Fougere Menchenton Architecture. Fundy Amphitheater, Nine Yard Studio. Back Bay Joinery Shops, Peter Braithwaite Studio. Roger Bacon Bridge, Wood Research and Development. Authentic Seacoast Distillery and Brewery, Archibald and Fraser Architects. Corduroy Brook Enhancement Association Building, Fougere Menchenton Architecture.
Benjamin Bridge Winery Improvements, Eric Stotts Architect, and Devin McConnell Gordon. Paul Reynolds Community Center, Fougere Menchenton Architecture, Kejimakujik National Park Gender Neutral Washrooms and Picnic Shelter, Fathom Studio. Dillman's Bridge, Wood Research and Development. And your winner for the 2022 Atlantic Non-Residential Award is Roger Bacon Bridge, Wood Research and Development. Congratulations. Atlantic Hybrid Building Award. This category includes buildings that have utilized multiple building materials for different structural purposes. The winning project will be one that best uses these different materials so that it optimizes the cost effectiveness of the building while showcasing wood. Here are the nominees for the 2022 Atlantic Hybrid Building Award. Brewery Park Boutique Hotel, Eric Stotts, Architect. Paul Reynolds Community Center, Fougere Menchenton Architecture. East Hans Aquatic Center, MJM Architects and Teal Architects and Planners. Fundy Amphitheater Nine Yard Studio. Back Bay Studio. Peter Braithwaite Studio. Petty Kodiak Baptist Church Edition, Studio Shershekar. Benjamin Bridge Winery Improvements, Eric Stotts Architect and Devin McConnell Gordon. Twenty-one sixty-nine seventy-one Gottagen Street, Eco Green Homes. Brookside Intermediate School, Fougere Menchenton Architecture.
And your winner for the 2022 Hybrid Building Award is Back Bay Studio, Peter Braithwaite Studio. Congratulations. Atlantic Multi-Unit Residential Award. This category includes multi-unit residential and mixed-use buildings. The criteria considered for this award will be strength, durability, beauty, quantity of wood used, and total project costs. The nominees for the 2022 Multi-Unit Residential Award are as follows. Brewery Park Boutique Hotel, Eric Stotts, Architect. North River Apartments, Sable Arc Studios. Young Street Microsuites, Sable Arc Studios. One sixty nine seventy one Gottagen Street, Eco Green Homes. Shorefront Apartments, Sable Arc Studios. And your winner for the 2022 Multi-Unit Residential Award is Brewery Park Boutique Hotel, Eric Stotts, Architect. Congratulations. Atlantic Residential Award. The residential category includes single family dwellings and cottages. The winning project will push the limits of wood design demonstrate excellent and unique use of wood, and showcase some of the qualities of wood, such as strength, durability, beauty, versatility, and cost effectiveness. The nominees for the 2022 Atlantic Residential Award are as follows. The Monocular, Rad Architects. The River House, Sable Arc Studios. Seabright Residence, Peter Braithwaite Studio. Suter Residence, Vincent and Hartog Architect. House on the Bay of Fundy, Diamond Schmidt Architects with DFS Architecture and Design. Empire House, Woodford Architecture. NZ House, 
Sable Arc Studios. McKinnon Gleona Residence, Vincent and Hartog Architect. Herman's Island Boathouse, Abbott Brown Architects. Halfway Hill House, Woodford Architecture. Cove Road Residence, Open Practice Inc. Arm Crescent Residence, Peter Braithwaite Studio. House in Scotch Cove, FBM Architecture and Interior Design. Howe Bay House, Nine Yard Studio. Lee Tiny House, Sable Arc Studios. Caribou Studios, Peter Braithwaite Studio. And your winner for the 2022 Residential Award is House in Scotch Cove, FBM Architecture. Congratulations. The jury's choice was selected by the jurors from all the projects submitted for the awards. It was the project that was the most inspiring and best exemplified the Wood Design Awards. The winner of the 2022 Jury's Choice Award is Roger Bacon Bridge, Wood Research and Development. Congratulations. The Merit Award was selected by the jurors from all submissions for the awards. This project resonated with the jurors and stood out among the other submissions a project worthy of an award for wood design. The winner of the Merit Award goes to The Monocular, Rad Architects. Congratulations. There are three awards remaining who are given to individuals that are helping to create a wood culture in Atlantic Canada. The first, is the Atlantic Architect of the Year Award. The Architect of the Year Award will be given to a wood champion that is described as an individual who believes in the merits of the material and the research that is driving innovation for wood products, a proven leader in wood design. Your winner for the 2022 Architect of the Year Award is 
Robert Haggis, Sable Arc Studios. Congratulations, Robert. Next, we have the Atlantic Engineer of the Year Award. The Engineer of the Year Award will be given to an individual that has demonstrated success in engineering wood buildings and shown leadership in using wood for structural purposes through projects in Atlantic Canada. Your winner for the 2022 Atlantic Engineer of the Year Award is Malcolm Pinto, Pinto Engineering. Congratulations, Malcolm. The final award is the Wood Champion Award. This award is presented to an individual or company located in Atlantic Canada as leading the way in creating wood culture. This person or company demonstrates a commitment to utilizing wood for structural building applications and aesthetic appeal in all types of projects. The winner for the 2022 Wood Champion Award is Dr. Dan Tingley, Wood Research and Development. Congratulations, Dan. Dan Tingley serves as Executive Director and Senior Design Engineer for Wood Research and Development. Dan is an engineer, teacher, lecturer, and sits on several committees. He has worked in the wood products industry for over 45 years, receiving his Bachelor of Science in Forest Engineering at UMB in 1975, his Master of Science in Civil Engineering at UMB in 1988, and his PhD at Oregon State University in 1997. With a passion for wood, Dan has a structure on every continent except Africa. From Nova Scotia to Australia, Dan and his engineering team are busy designing restoration fixes, such as the 1920 Bayswire Wire Covered Bridge in New Brunswick, to designing Canada's longest three-lane clear span bridge in Nepean, Nova Scotia. Dan exhibits the characteristics required to be referred to as a wood champion. He believes in wood, he pushes the standards of wood construction, and he advances innovation in the use of wood systems. Congratulations, Dan. Congratulations to all of the winners, and thank you to all who submitted projects. Although we were unable to safely host this event in person due to COVID-19, we hope you enjoyed this video highlighting wood design in Atlantic Canada and celebrating the individual showcasing excellence in wood design and construction. Thank you again to our funding partners that provide us with the opportunity to make this happen. <laughs>